Uh, classic. Welcome, everybody, to, uh, oh. Brent. Oh, 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 geez, whoa. D uh, d exterminate all, oh, oh, geez. All Metroid it's... organisms destroy all the games so no fans can play them anymore. It's, wow. The real meaning Defeat. of Metroid Dread. Defeat the mechanical life for mother. Oh, well. Well, uh, that's one way to grab somebody when they're about to play your game. Uh, welcome, everybody, to... Metroid Zero Mission! Oh, I should have waited for the title to come in, like, Metroid right now! Metroid Zero Mission! Yeah. Press start, copyright 2004 Nintendo! Uh, Metroid Dread's coming out in a couple months, and uh, I got really excited. And I figure, hey, why the hell not? Uh, we'll go ahead and do 100% of all the Metroids leading up to Dread. We'll do uh, Metroid 1, 2, 3, and 4. So only the side-scroller ones? For now. For now. Wait, well, you don't want to do Prime? No, for you! You, you want to do Met Federation Force? Uh, the, the Believe it or not, the one game I don't have. That's... <laughs> Maybe I should get it just to spite Metroid players. Maybe we'll do Metroid Pinball d next. No, nobody would be upset but you. No, I, I would be the only sad boy. Alright, well, we got a bunch of side scroll and Metroid Vania action to do, so let's get right to it. We'll just uh, start a new game and uh, do it on normal mode. And we're gonna go for 100%. You can't guarantee we're gonna get the fastest time. But I've ratted it out, I've planned it out, I've got a, a pretty good way to get all the items, and that's what we're going to end up doing. He so. made a map, and I, it's actually very in-depth. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go all out for this. Can, can you import just, like, a flash of the map you're looking <laughs> at, just in all the notes you've taken? Oh, it isn't that complicated. So we're on planet Zebes. Uh, Samus, uh, uh, Samus Aran used to live here uh, when she was a child, but it got attacked by space pirates. Oh, she's heterochromia. Actually, she lived on a uh, space colony uh, just as... Okay, she's in the controls. She lived, she lived on a uh, Earth space colony in the orbit of this planet, and that got attacked by space pirates. So they fled to the actual planet where she was taken on by these bird-like people called Chozos. They basically uh, taught her how to be a warrior. They, they, they trained her, and more importantly, they infused her with their uh, bird person... DNA. I, I was just about to say, she seems very flexible for a non-bird. Yes, uh, part of the culmination of her power is this power suit that she wears. It's it's basically Kozo technology uh, ma uh, made to enhance her own abilities. So she's got super strength, so she can flip the air, she's got all these powers, unlimited energy, it's, it's, uh, it, it's pretty cool. I love how you read the Metroid manga in preparation for this. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, t I, I prepped up on some of the lore. <laughs> so, uh, s after, uh, d the Kozo got attacked by the pirates... Chozo or Kozo? Cho- ch ch I, I go with Chozo. Okay. Ch ch Chozo, Chozen, Ko- The Chozen ones! Does it matter? <laughs> well, people, people still aren't in agreement how to say Samus Aran. Well, I mean, there's a couple different ways of saying Aaron. I mean, if it was spelled a weird way and then somebody said, oh, yeah, that says Aaron, it's like, okay, no, there's a Z in there. So, so, that some people, doesn't make sense. Some people say Samus Aran. Samus Aran. S Samus, Ar S Samus Aran. It just sounds like her foreign yes. sister. We can't get that, but uh, we can get through there if we, if we want to. Well, don't confuse me. You said we can't get that. You're saying we can? We got to get an item in order to get there. Oh. Because our our uh, our beam doesn't reach. Yeah, it's too piddly. We got we got a little baby beam. It's pathetic. Well, now we have a, a long, better beam. We got a long beam. <laughs> it is a beam that is long. Oh. Enhance beam. It's so basically your uh, it reaches across the end of the screen. You know, this was act. I never played the original Metroid. I only played this one. And I'm kind of glad I did, otherwise I think the original would have soured it for me. The the original has not aged well. It, it is obsolete. Now that they made Zero Mission, there is no reason to play uh, the original NES Metroid. Except for just, you know, the nostalgia factor. And the fact that you can beat it in like five minutes. We gotta go this way first. Do we? We gotta, see, we, we, we gotta kill Ridley and Kray before we can go defeat Mother Brain. Who I found out... Mother Brain is not the leader of the Space Pirates. It's Ridley. It's Ridley. Yeah. Mother Brain is their space computer that was actually a Chozo space computer that they were going to use to defend themselves from the X-Parasites. There is a lot of lore you're throwing at me right now. Turns and out the Metroids themselves are made from the Kozo. You're about to die. I know. 
And but now you're a, not. But it's okay. <laughs> so the Kozo, uh, Kozo, Cho whatever the fuck they are. Kozolets. They created the Metroids to fight the X Parasite, which we won't see until Metroid 4, Metroid Fusion. Oh, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I'm still learning how to jump and shoot. Speaking of which, how do you do this? What are you playing on? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm playing on Wii U, by the way. Okay. I mean, you should know you set this up. I know. Perfect. For the people at home. So you wanted to play on uh, on actual hardware, but as you know, playing Game Boy Advance games is a little difficult. Yeah, people... So, so nobody has a nobody has a Game Boy player. At least for for our circle of friends. Yeah. By the way, that's how you can skip that. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Game Boy player is out. Can't use that. I mean, we have the actual cart. That's that's not the problem. Mm -hmm. Tried it on the Retron. There was a little bit of a lag issue, which yeah, is which is hilarious, by the way. Yeah. There was a, there was a lag issue. It just didn't seem like the most reliable system. It did it. it it locked up several times. I figure, well, why don't we just use the, you know, the Wii U Virtual Console? I mean, that's that's official hardware, isn't it? Fuck. It is official hardware and a use for the Wii U. Of course. You know, it's funny after uh, Metroid uh, Dread was announced, all well, the sales for this game went through the roof. So we got missiles. But the missiles, we can open red doors. We can open that red door. But first, we got to deal with this thing. Zero Mission added mini bosses. This is, there's this, this is Deorum. Oh, he has a name. He's got a big ol' eye. I thought he was just a big icky bug. Oh, they have names. I think, uh, like, everything has an official name, which is really funny, because I think one of the enemies is actually just, like, a ring of fire. What? Would you stop getting hit? There we go. Oh, you can kill this thing? Yep, uh... He, he, you he... can get this early? Yeah. You can one-cycle him if you're good. Which I am. Uh, well, okay, Mr. Showoff. Some of us work that good. He, he appears again later if you if you don't get the one cycle just right. Yeah, if you uh, if you take too long, you know you can't figure it out. He uh, buggers off and comes back later. Yeah, there's like what two or three places where he shows up, and then in like the third iteration, he doesn't leave. Yeah, he does. it's like you have to get the charge beam now. Get, come on, you can't beat the game without it. Save room. Well, shoot, we're already like 10% through the game. Let's just beat it all right now. All right, let's <laughs> one, do it. One big long episode. I'm just kidding. It's not going to happen. Not without Justin Bailey. I don't think I can beat uh, hard mode 100% in under two hours. That's going to be a bit of a hard sell. So what can you do with the charge beam? Just, you know, charge it, make a big blast? Well, charge beam makes a big blast. If you charge all the way up, you can have like a little bit of a extra power when you when you jump. Kind of like an early beta screw attack type thing. Oh, okay. But really, it's just so you can hit harder. I like it. Weaker than a missile, but cheaper than one. This side should be getting more missiles than you can know what to do with. I was about to say, we're basically going to be drowning in missiles. We're going to be oh, able yeah. to, like, Scrooge McDuck and missiles. Speaking of missiles, they do damage. They do a lot of damage. Not the most damage, but a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to imagine, like, you know, Sam is this badass bounty hunter, but I can only imagine, like, her one fear are bugs. <laughs> and I'm just visualizing her just going, ew, 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 If she ew. hates bugs, then she better get out of this line of work. Uh, yeah. Metroid Prime 2 is very bloody. You get a lot of bug guts on you. You got an energy tank, so maybe we won't die as often now. I like. Uh. Yeah, Metroid's the one series where I've never managed to get 100%. I got close when I beat Super Metroid back in the day on official hardware, I should say. And yeah, it was a good fun time. Got lost only twice, so I'm good. Oh, the map room. You get the map room, yes. Wow, look at all that extra stuff. And look at that missing block that you have right there. What missing block? It's a missing block right there. That big old gray block and all that blue? We'll get there. Not yet, though. We, I mean, we don't even have the thing to get down there yet. Look, I just want to point that out, okay? It's gonna bug me. <laughs> all right. Got the map. Go through here now. If you ever see Samus just ponder her thoughts in front of a wall, you could tell that a map is being looked at. Well, I, I figured it'd be a... <laughs> I, I, I figured it'd be a... Uh, better for flow than just having to pause. Okay, see so here. Uh, go where where here. do I go? Uh, okay, I remember now. 
Ooh, I think we get the bomb here. It's bomb time. That's the thing I like about the Metroid games. They're so well put together where the thing you need is normally just a few rooms away, and they give you like a little mini tutorial before you actually, you know, go out into the wild with your brand new bomb power. Yeah. Also, you can bomb hop. Boink! They're gonna expect that of you here soon. Samus just loves blowing herself up. Good old pastime. One of the things I love about the Metroid games is just how much detail goes into the actual world. So I play a lot of Metroidvanias since I played Metroid. Oh, yep. Love these. They're specifically here to teach you that you can blow up little mini enemies. Yep. And that some of them are only killed by bombs. There's, there's like certain details in the, like the environment that I just really appreciate. And I, right. I could have sworn that Metroid was going to be in, you know, the lost graveyard where F-Zero and Star Fox are currently hanging out at. But nope, Metroid Dread came out of development cancellation. And then they're like, cool, here's another Metroid game, and we are going to advertise the hell out of it. Actually, uh, t what, what I think it is is that Nintendo doesn't really know what to do with Metroid. Because <laughs> that happens. Sometimes they just have no idea what to do with some of their franchises, and so they just kind of, you know, wither away. Until somebody has a good idea, and they bring it back, and then it, then it goes well. Because, uh, apparently how Samus Returns was, uh, was, uh, to be made, uh, the, the team at Mercury Steam, they came together and made, and, uh, proposed a Metroid Fusion remake. And, Ninten Ooh. and Nintendo said, no, let's not do that, but... We like your guys' ideas and what you have for the Metroid series, so how about instead of remaking 4, you remake 2? So that's how we got Samus Returns. And it, 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 it uh, did really well. Yeah, modestly well, I bet. You know, for, for a Metroid game, it did well. Specifically and, a Metroid remake of a Game Boy game. Well enough for them to, uh, you know, for them to give them another, uh, another shot at a game and, hey, make the follow-up to 4. Make the 19 years of the making follow-up to Metroid Fusion. I think I think we're in good hands. He's, you know, Mer Mercury Steam, they've done, like, the Lords of Shadow games, so, well, it, it's... Mm. Yeah. They're all right. Which really, uh, we, we agree the problems are probably from Konami, not Mercury Steam. I mean, the game's solid, just everything else is dumb. I mean, if it turns out that Sam Samus is actually Dracula at the end of it, I, th I don't think I'm gonna enjoy it more. Here, yeah, there we go. There we go. We oh. have filled in everything. Well, whatever they did, it can't be any worse than what uh, Team Ninja did with uh, <laughs> Other M. Uh, we don't talk about that one. Nah. Because it's bad. It's very bad. It is so bad. Ah! Oh, fuck. You know, I'm curious if we're going to have any Other M apologists in here. It's like Other M is the one that got them into Metroid. It's like, good. Oh, it did. Oh. You, you have so many more options now. You have nowhere to go but up now. I mean, I say you have options, but then again, um, the ability to play all the Metroid games nowadays is kind of rough. Yeah. Like, uh, let's let's take a look back. Zero Mission? I have the cart, but we're playing on the Wii U Virtual Console, which is the only Virtual Console, to my knowledge, I mean, besides the Wii Virtual Console that had GBA games, but you can't buy them anymore. No. So you have to get you know, a rotting Wii U from a GameStop that probably doesn't even sell them anymore to play Zero Mission. Same with Fusion. It is also on the Wii U Virtual Console. It's also on the 3DS if you were an early ambassador of the 3DS. Right. Like so if, I was. So if you missed out on it, you're screwed. Yeah. You can't get it. I mean, unless they, they lifted that ambassador program and now you can buy it. Not a chance. <laughs> Samus Returns, Not a chance. 3DS only. Yeah. Super Metroid. You can actually play that on the, uh, what is it, Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, sorry, Super Nintendo Entertainment System Netflix on subscription things on demand. Nintendo Switch Online Super Nintendo. There we go. And then Metroid Dread, you have to have a Switch. And also it has to be October, which this is clearly not. Yes. So yeah, go ahead and go out and buy a Wii U, a 3DS, and a Switch so you can play all five Metroid games. And then go and buy a Wii and buy a Metroid Prime Trilogy to play some other good games. You know, I have an actual Metroid 2 uh, Game Boy cart. 
You know, that would be an interesting comparison just to see it. Because I know Samus' sprite was huge on screen. It's, it's, it's not very good. <laughs> well, yeah, you just, you're just you given the task of kill 30 Metroids. Okay, go. And can't you beat it in just like an hour or so? Because it's a Game Boy game? Well, I, I don't know about that because I, I tried playing it and what happened is I got the Ice Beam twice. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Oh. Well, they want to make sure you have the Ice Beam for the Metroids. Let's just say, uh, Samus Returns makes it so you, you don't have to play the game where one, it's okay, you don't have to do it. You don't have to get the Ice Beam twice? You, 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 you don't have to do that to yourself. Double you know? Metroid killing power. Yeah. Oop, wrong way. Not gonna, I, get, not gonna get that time bonus now, damn. I, I, I do love the idea uh. of Nintendo thinking that all their little babby players playing on the Game Boy, they won't catch the Ice Beam the first time, so they'll give it to you a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like with this that giant centipede you killed. It's just like, well, if, if they miss their opportunity to get the charge beam, yeah, it's all right. I'm going out of my way to get this, but if I get it now, it'll just make things easier. Okay. We're getting an E-tank early on. I will... Ordinarily, you have to wait until you get, like, the high jump boots to get this. Dude, spoilers. What are high jump boots? They make you jump high. Oh. Let's Shoo one of these. There it yeah, is. Yeah, there's the E tank. And then just oh get the god, right Oh my god, you're gonna rhythm. try IBJing. Infinite bomb jump! Just gotta get the right pattern and. Oh. And nope. <laughs> well, I think if you. Oh, there, well, there you go. Just gotta keep tapping at a, at a rhythm and there you go. Alright, we're good to go. Time to go fight Craig. Nope, not yet. We are heading to Norfair. Head to Norfair? Head to Norfair to get a couple of things we need, but we will be finishing this episode at Kraid. Like, killing him, or...? Like, entering the realm of Kraid. Okay. Just, you know, getting there. I thought his realm was Brinstar. No. Like, he's the big high judge of Brinstar. He's like, we're, yo... We're in Brinstar right now. Right. For some reason, I thought he... <laughs> this is Planet Zebes. Right. Zebes and... The boss. If you want to be, you know, highfalutin about your Metroid pronunciations. People are never in agreement about anything. Didn't Other M have an official pronunciation for Zebes? It was Zebes. I don't know. But... <laughs> I'm gonna make you think about Other M. For I didn't a while. even finish Other M. I don't know too many people who did, but apparently it's got like really interesting story bits, it's just everything else that's, like, hair-pullingly annoying. It's not that interesting. By the way, Mother Brain. Yeah, Mother Brain's here. Hello, sunshine! I never knew that the space pirates stole Mother Brain, and now they use it to power their, their, uh, their computers and all that. I'm just imagining, like, they took Mother Brain just so they could torrent things faster. <laughs> Now we get the gigabit internet! <laughs> they stole Samus's Google Fiber. <laughs> Steal her high-speed internet. That's the only reason she's here, is just to get her internet back. You know, her 80s internet. The thing that doesn't exist. Ooh, I know what that is. That's high speed. Mm -hmm. They want you to do some ridiculous stuff with the high speed in this game. If you want to get 100%. I can't wait. Here's some of the new things they added to to this Metroid. Crateria. That's it. Hey, do you think they have a lot of, like, craters in Crateria? You'd be surprised. Maybe... Maybe they're just big fans of cheese and being able to turn it into a easier way to cook with it. Crateria. Well, maybe they like to ride on horses in the snow. Slate area. <laughs> they really enjoy the fifth month out of the year, Materia. They are supporters of the LGBT community. Gateria. Gateria. Uh, so a little thing about the maps here. Uh, everything in green is considered a secret, if I remember correctly. Yes, that is and, correct. And blue is the main part of the map, so we're in all secret territory this here. This is all secret. 
And also, if you see, oh, the unknown item. An unknown item. When the cho when the chosen gave us a power suit, they gave us a inferior model. <laughs> So these things okay. don't work, but they kind of do, because now they destroy these blocks. Oh, that's neat. I, I also noticed that uh, when you walk into a map square that has a, a little O in it, that means there is an item you still have to collect. And now that it's turned into like a little dot, that means you have collected everything in that room. That's, well, O means that in this square there is an item. And the dot means that, well, you got it. Okay. okay. See, I'm, I'm trying to remember okay. Okay. 2004 me figuring this out for the first time. Has it been that long? Well, I think I got my copy in 2008, maybe. Okay. Oh god, maybe Sorry, I got I had it to later. look at my map. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Eat me, Samus! <laughs> I'm big and dead! No, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Big and Dead. What would you like me to do about it? Get another, uh... Another mm. power here. Already? Oh, shoot! Sacred Kozo technology that oh, is compatible with our suit, the God. power grip! What a great power-up they added to this. Telling me. Being able to hang on things. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. And like you said, they give you a tutorial. There's like a way to like jump up here if you do it right, like frame perfectly. Just... Isn't it just wall jumping? Yeah. Which, something, didn't something that get like introduced that. in Super Metroid? Not in this one. Like maybe it's 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 kind of like the the uh, infinite bomb jump. It's like one of those secret technical moves that experts use. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Metroid expert in, <laughs> in the making. In the making, not one yet. <laughs> See, I can't wait to go through the first four Metroids, and then by the time Dread comes out, we beat it in like two hours accidentally. She's like, oh, oops, I have, uh, I have accidentally become a god. <laughs> Emmy has nothing on us. And here is your ship. Yeah! Two points. <laughs> I chose a slam dunk Samus into her ship. What? No saving. No saving. You madman. No saving, we're going for it. Now that we got uh, two of these power tanks, we're good to go, man. I, right. I, I still love that there is an official power, like a microchip you put into your suit that lets you, it, like, claw your fingers to grab on things. Alright, let's get some more things. I like getting things. I like getting things, too. Especially when they uh, this, this leave is the fire. Fire. Aha. Is maybe this is just a Super Metroid thing, but I could have sworn there were certain parts of Norfair that started to hurt because you didn't have the yeah. power up needed. Yes, uh, there are rooms like that where it is too damn hot for your suit to withstand, and uh, those those rooms are the ones that turn yellow. Oh, they have a different color. There are yellow rooms. If you look at my map, you can see some of them here. Oh yeah, look at that big old splotch of yellow. Yep. Not dealing with that just yet, because, you know, we're, we'll start hurting and we'll die if we go in there, and that would just waste time, and that would be awful. But then we sequence break, and we get all the way over to Ridley, and, you know, just give him a high five, say, What's up, Ridley, my, my brother, my bro, my space pirito? And then you kill him. And then you kill him. Oh, no, did, uh, didn't you hear? Uh, Metro uh, Samus actually has uh, PTSD over, Rid over Ridley. And she's apparently all sad and feeling sorry for herself in Metroid Other M because of this. Okay, that actually is a manga thing. Because she witnessed uh, Ridley kill her family. Well, in, in Other M, it's because the baby Metroid's dead. Baby. Baby. I mean, couldn't you see the raw emotion as she was, you know, watching the baby Metroid absorb the killer beam that Mother Brain was shooting? And then she's like, no, baby, please, do not help me. I can take care of it as I'm sitting here dying. Help make, me. Make the joke you want, but that whole that whole scene was told without dialogue. And it was fucking cool! Hate, pardon pardon all right. my French, this is an E-rated game? I hate this room, yes. 
There's a lot of stupid high-speed bullshit they want you to do. I like high speed. I like a lot of things. <laughs> oh, I'm burning! Burning! I'm burning! Please do not flame char Samus. Yeah. She doesn't like being on fire. Fuck it. <laughs> You're not gonna make it, no! Uh, dude? Yeah. You are I know. not going to make it? How the fuck do I get up there then? You you don't. Come back later. You gotta get through there. Well, you can't make it. Yes, I can. I can so make it. Well, not right now, because you're gonna die. <sighs> Might as well make a restore point, just in case. Oh, fine. Otherwise, we're going back a while. <laughs> That's the only reason I say this. Alright, go. See, we made it. But, but we had the safety, so... No! <laughs> You did that just to prove a point, didn't you? Yes, I did! <laughs> ah. Ah. Now it doesn't work. There we go. There we go. That was a good one. That felt good. Sheesh. <laughs> All of this for an E-Tag, I bet. It's for the Ice Beam, ah. actually. What? Already? Already. And then the... <laughs> beam. Then beam. Oh, please, get health. Please get oh, yeah. health. Can't go that way, because now I gotta open it through a... the uh, Super Missile. So it seems that we're trapped in here. Or are we? We're never trapped. Ah, yes. That's how that works. So you do have the ability to turn off certain beams, at least you couldn't Super Metroid? Not in this one, it's, it's okay, all it's one. all or nothing. Gotcha. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can make platforms, it's pretty cool. Haha. -ha. It's pretty ice, Wait. TBH. Yeah. And now, they're gonna tell us where to go next. I need you to go here. Go back, go back to Brinstar, oh yes. Typical Metroid, backtracking. We're and going, <laughs> going to Kraid! We are actually hitting up the, the Kraid part of town. Uh-huh. Well, you heard him, boys. But there, there are a couple of, uh... Missile tanks that we can grab in the meantime. Fuck. Head to Dad the back that. alleys of the Kraid District. He's selling Metroids at half the price. Ah. Go, 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 go! Before they thaw. There we go. Up here is this though. You. Oh! There we go. And you can only achieve that by being able to extend your fingies. <laughs> now this next missile tank here is pretty interesting. Do tell. Just uh, what you gotta do. Yeah, you, we couldn't get it without the ice beam. Hmm. But now that we have the ice beam, we can get it. So it is right there, as you can see. There's no real way for us to get it. Mm-hmm. You gotta break that. Oh, I think I get it. Yeah, you gotta free that guy. I think you accidentally killed him. I think I just froze him. We'll be back. Duh! That's not enough. The hell is clipping. Alright! Alright, try again. Nope. That's not enough either, damn it. It's all right. Don't freeze on me. There we go. There. That's it. Beautiful. That's what we need. Perfect. You already have 65 missiles, I think? I think that's the number. Which is hilarious. You know, I, I still love the idea that we're, we're, we're coming over and we're knocking on Kraid's door. 65 missiles in tow. <laughs> He's just like, oh, hey, what's up, Samus? How you doing? And then... <laughs> we're gonna need all of them. Is Kraid tougher, magically, in this game? Uh, just missiles don't do as much as you think they do. Oh, well. Ah. They're supposed to give you a little bit of power. Sorry, I don't think we need it. Oh, never mind, we have two more things left to get. 
Three more things, wow. Hey, did you happen to see that imagery in the background? It Whoops. kinda looked like... A baby. Wait a minute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Other M is all about this, this ridiculous mother imagery. It's just like, oh, oh yeah, all, all along, Samus Aran wants to be a mother, or whatever. Because she's investigating a baby's cry on the bottle ship, and other M is just, it, it's its mother, you know, fuck it. it just, this is moronic. Did you know that if you swap other and M, you get mother? Did you know that if you swap Team Ninja for Mercury Steam, you get a playable <laughs> Metroid game? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I am still okay. We're we're done talking about other M. I'm so sorry to keep bringing it up. It's just really funny to me that that game exists. It it is a travesty in the, the Metroid franchise. I was so excited for it too. I thought it was gonna be oh finally the, the dramatic Metroid they've been wanting for all these years, and then they just <laughs> give us that. They really do just straight up give us that. But um, will you just I do am, this right, Samus? Come on. I am under the impression that. Okay, they said they reset Metroid Prime 4's development because it wasn't going well. And they called the original team who did Metroid Primes, called them back and said, Hey, we fucked this. Can you unfuck this? And so development started from scratch again, but this time with people who know what they're doing. Well, it's not the first time that they've done that. Let's see. But I'm convinced that that team who couldn't figure out Prime went on to start finishing up Dread. That's that's my hot take. I don't know. I think Dread was uh, for Mercury Steam itself. I, I, I think after the success of uh, Returns, like, okay, now go make five because you guys are good at it, and, be, and people like what you do, and they'll they'll buy people buy things they like and they like it, so go make it so they can like it and buy it. All right, thanks, bye. Wait, are you saying if you if people like a product, they'll buy it? I know, sounds crazy. I know. Why the hell do people keep buying Pokemon games? By the way, I'll be there on day one for br Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Arceus. Yeah, and this is going to be a pain, too. Oh, I see what you got to do. And that's... You don't see because you don't even know how we're going to do it. Well, I think I can figure it out. I'm a smart boy. And there is such thing as a speedball. All right. This one's kind of cryptic. I didn't know about this one. So this is a learning experience for you as well. It is. Pardon what? Hell yeah. Yeah, missile tank. Talk about something that wasn't in the original. There's no way. No way. Alright, off to Craig's part of town. Off to Craig's part of town. <laughs> I like that little wall lizard. <laughs> Hello. You're gonna die, lady. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. You're gonna get got. <laughs> Alright. So next time on Metroid Zero Mission, we'll be exploring Kraid and taking him out. So wait, are we fighting the are we fighting the entire district or are we yeah. fi find a dude named Kraid or Well if you want if you want to see what we're doing, no, uh, here's, well, here, I mean don't here's, spoil here's, it for here's, me. Here's here's the map, you yeah, know. That's so see, much Kraid. Yeah, he's so right. big. I know he he's the big he's taking up the screen he's, right he's now! A, he's a big man! He is huh? huge. Oh god, stop!